Greetings and thank you so much for this week that we could journey together, spending a few moments each day in the Word of God and just praying together. I trust you've had a good week and you've been growing in your faith and God's hand is on you. Uh, this week we've been reflecting on spiritual living and we've just been talking about various aspects of what it means to live spiritual lives. And we close off this week by looking at the passage in Ephesians 5, 18 through 21, where Paul is highlighting the characteristics of a spiritual life. Uh, he tells us, don't be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit. And he concludes that passage in verse 21 by saying, submitting to one another in the fear of God. That means a person who is filled with the Spirit just walks and just flows in genuine submission and that, and that and that meekness, in that humility, in that place of uh, uh, yielding to people and not wanting their own rights, fighting for their own things. There's this sense of submission, submitting to one another in the fear of God. It's, it's an honest submission, a genuine submission, knowing that it's done before the Lord. So that's a characteristic of a person who's filled with the Spirit. He walks in submission to people. Uh, there is no arrogance and pride and uh, wanting my own way and insisting on our own right. That's not it. But a person who's filled with the Spirit just flows in humility, flows in gentleness, flows in submission because he's doing it in the fear of God. And that, Paul says, is an expression of a spiritual life. Now, that doesn't mean you just uh, don't speak up, you don't say something is right, or something is wrong, or you don't, uh, you know, uh, express your ideas of views. We're not saying that. Uh, but in all that you do, there is that gentleness, there is that submission, there is that yieldedness, there is an expression of meekness, uh, that humility that comes through in all that we do from the Holy Spirit. Because remember, the fruit of the Spirit is gentleness. The fruit of the Spirit is meekness. And that comes through even if you are going to make leadership decisions, management decisions, strategic decisions, or all these things. You may be in the top position and doing all these things, but in all of that, the fruit of the Spirit, gentleness and meekness becomes evident. People see that. And that is an expression that you are a man or a woman who is filled with the Holy Spirit. May we all express that. Let's pray. Father, we ask that in all that we do, no matter how powerful we may be, no matter how influential we may be, no matter what positions we may hold, that gentleness and meekness be seen through our lives, that we will submit ourselves one to another in the fear of God and be glorified in our lives, in each of our lives, as we live lives full of your Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.